Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a BitScap grid bot with the objective of accumulating Bitcoin via profit from the actual grid bot. Now, if you're not familiar with BitScap, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform that you basically connect your exchange accounts to their platform. So you don't actually send money to BitScap, your money stays on your exchange and is as secure as it can be when your funds are being held on an exchange. And the platform offers a trading terminal, it has an arbitrage feature, you can demo trades. So before you put any of your funds at risk, you could actually demo trade, but today we will be focused focusing on their grid bots. So if you're curious what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually start for free. They offer a 14 day free trial. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you'll actually get 14 days free of their pro plan. And at the conclusion of your 14 day free trial, you could start with their basic plan for $19 a month. And that would get you two active trading bots. Now, if you wanted to have a few more bots, you could step up to the advanced plan for $44 a month, and that would get you five active trading bots. Now, the plan I use is the pro plan that's $110 a month, but it does allow you to have 15 trading bots at any given time. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to the configuration of the bot. Now, once you have joined the platform and you log in, you would come over to the menu bar across the top and click on bots. And that will bring you to the bots dashboard where you can configure your new bot. And you have a choice between strategies of S bot, classic bot, or combo bot. Now the combo bot is their futures trading bot. I've done videos on that in the past, so you can check out my playlist for the futures trading bot. But today we will be deploying an S bot. I have found that that bot produces perhaps the best profit when we're moving sideways or slightly trending up. And right now, given the market conditions, from what I can tell, it looks like we may be moving sideways for perhaps the next month. So we have our strategy selected. Now we need to pick our exchange and you can just pick from a list of your connected exchanges. You connect your exchanges again, like I mentioned, through API keys. So you're never sending funds to BitScap. And today I'll be using Binance US. The pair I will be trading, as I mentioned earlier, will be ADA BTC, but you can obviously select from a wide variety of pairs that are available on any given exchange. But today, ADA BTC will be my target. And then the next option is investment amount. I will get back to this after I have set up my number of grids and my grid spacing. Then this makes more sense to adjust at that time. So we'll jump right down to lower price and upper price for this grid. And I typically like to set my grids around structure, uh, resistance, and support levels. So I just basically click and drag these into place. I have dropped the upper price limit at previous resistance. And I dropped the lower price limit at around previous support. And so the next feature is trailing up. I pretty much always deploy my bots with this feature enabled. And what that feature basically does, it allows the grid to move up if the price action breaches above this upper limit. It will actually move the upper price limit up along with that price action. So I stay within the grid and continue trading rather than being out of range. Now I need to select my grid spacing and my number of grids. The first thing I'm going to set is the number of grids. We'll go for 99 grids. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually functions, the grid is made up of red and green lines. These lines represent limit orders. The green lines are limit buy orders. The red lines are limit sell orders. So the idea is when the price action moves down, you're buying at a lower price on the way down. And then when that price action moves back up, you're selling at a higher price as it hits each of the red grid lines or the red limit orders. And so by selecting 99 grid levels, it has populated the grids or the limit orders based on my upper and lower price limits. Now I want to determine the spacing in between each one of these lines. And so for my grid spacing, I have it just below half a percent. I have it set at 0.4%. So each space in between one of these grid lines 
will be 0.4%. And so when the bot starts taking profit on the way up, each time it hits one of the red lines, it would in theory be taking 0.4% profit on the way up. Now, two other options that are available are take profit and stop loss. The take profit option would basically, once your bot has achieved a certain percentage of profit, for example, like 10%, the bot would stop and close out your position with a 10% profit. Now, I prefer to let my bots run as long as they're profitable. I will keep them deployed and let them run. So I will not be enabling the take profit feature, but the next feature, the stop loss feature, I will most certainly be enabling. And I know there's a whole lot of grid bots that were deployed without stop losses out there, and they are stuck at big losses right now after Bitcoin had that major sell off. But the bottom line is deploying one of these grid bots without a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually you're gonna get killed and we saw it during the last big Bitcoin dump. So we'll click enable and I'm going to put my stop loss at another level of support and where we saw the market completely dump off to, I see support down around that level. So I will put my stop loss there and that should give the price action plenty of room to maneuver yet at the same time protect me from a huge sell off. So now let's back test the strategy. So we click on back test and we can see the results over a three day period would be 1.6% in profit. Now I typically shoot for 1% profit per day. And so this bot would actually be falling short on that target. So what I'm really looking at is over a 30 day period, if I could actually achieve 16% more BTC, then in reality, I would be satisfied with the performance of this particular bot because the BTC I have deployed would otherwise just be sitting there and only appreciating in price, but not gaining more Satoshis along the way. And that is really the objective of this bot is to accumulate BTC in the form of bot profit. You can see in the past, I had a bot deployed on ADA BTC and it actually accumulated 33% more Bitcoin during the time it was deployed. And you can see the actual Satoshis that it actually accumulated. And so in the end, that bot basically was winning the battle as far as I was concerned. And so now we have pretty much everything configured. I need to decide how much ammo I'm gonna actually give this bot. And so the first thing I typically do is wipe out the amount to find out the minimum amount I've gotta give the bot. And the minimum amount would be 0 0.0198 BTC. And that equates out to 732 USD. So to quickly recap, the strategy we selected is the SBOT. The exchange in my case was Binance US. The pair is ADA BTC with the objective of earning Bitcoin in profit from the bot. The total investment is 0 0.0198 BTC or $732. The lower price level is 00003358. The upper price limit, which I do have the trailing up feature on, so it will continue to move up with the price action, is 00004977. My grid spacing or grid step is 0.4%. My total grid levels is 99. I do not have take profit enabled. I do have the stop loss enabled and the stop loss is set at 00003022. And so this bot's ready to be deployed. So we give start a click and it wants to confirm that I'm all right buying 103 ADA, which would be required if the price action does nothing but move straight up. I will be hitting those sell limit orders and therefore it needs some ADA in order to sell. So yes, buy that ADA and you can see the market order was placed for the ADA and you can see the grid starting to populate over the chart and now the bot has started. So the bot is active and live. Both ADA and BTC are coins that I'm willing to hold long term. So regardless of the performance of this bot, I'm willing to hold either ADA or BTC for the long term. So that is something important for you to consider when you deploy a bot. Now, these videos are how to configure, not how to copy. So what works for me might not work best for you, but you at least know how to configure a bot based on your trading strategies. So with that all being said, I will do an update video on how this bot is performing in the near future. 
here. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below for that 14 day free trial of the pro plan. And in closing, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.